Hi, good morning everyone. Today I'm going to show you how to run a UMAT in Abacus. I make this video for my friend Shuai. I try to record it so you can replay it later. So this is the UMAT uh, file, the DP new integration.4. So when you're using UMAT for, in, in Windows, the format of the Fortran file should be that should be .for. When you're using in Linux, you need to manually modify the format of the file to .f. Okay, this is using Fortran version 77. So if you open it, this is the the UMAT. This is the header of the UMAT. This is a C here is a it means a, it's a comment. Sometimes uh, I use this exclamation mark uh, as a comment. So whatever you, we wrote behind this is actually a comment. Okay, and sorry. And yeah, this is the dimension of the variables that you that you need uh, during the subroutine. This dimension, this is there's a mcof one two three six. This is uh, used for DDSDD. So this is the properties that you need to input. You need Young models, Poisson ratio, pressure sensitivity angle, the PT zero. You need to read the papers uh, by Dito Purunga, characterizing and uh, modeling rate and strength of strength rate dependent and pressure dependent in polypropylene so that you can understand all these parameters uh, <clears throat> so this is the sample of the material parameters that you put in the input file so if you open the input file this is the example of the input file uh, so if you scroll down at the end here you need to give the this is state dependent variables uh, that you need to update in every increments this is the constants, uh, the material properties that you need. There's a 50 here. So each line has to be 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, 8, and then this is 2, so total 50. Uh, so each of them corresponds to a certain uh, parameters. For example, like if we make it like this. So this is 1.7, this is, uh, I think this is the Young Modelers, the Poisson Ratio, and this is other parameters, pressure sensitive parameters, and so on. You can read uh, the paper, then you can understand more. And this uh, formulation only works for 3D elements, uh, so you should not use it for a plain stress problem. So this is just calculating the elastic properties, changing them in, ter in, ter uh, in the shape of uh, K and G, so in this formulation. We are separating between the bulk modelers and the shear modelers. We are using bulk models and shear modelers. Uh, so we are translating, we are transforming, transforming the young modelers uh, E mod and the new Poisson ratio because, uh, into the the bulk models and the shear models because this is that we need for this calculation. So this is yeah. So you can read this uh, later. You can study by yourself. And today I'm just going to show you how to use the UMAT. So you can click Shift and right click in Windows and then open Common Windows. You will see here. So the Common Prompt will open in the in the, this directory Abacus Testing. Then you can type Abacus CAE and then it will open the Abacus CAE Windows. Mm -hmm. Take some time to open. So I already created this job one file as a as a as a using Abacus AE before. So I save it. Usually I use this kind of simple model just to test my UMAT. So if you want to load this one, you can go directly to the job, click module part, uh, job, and then click here, and then there this one will appear. This windows. And you need to usually the source is from the model that you create in the CAE, but in this case we already have the model. So we want to load the model from the input file and then browse the input file. This is the job that we have. Okay, so now you can rename the, the name of the simulation as a testing. Click continue. When you click continue, you, you, this windows will pop up and then you can go to general tab. User subroutine, click here and then you need to point out where is the user subroutine which is this one the Fortran file okay and then if you to speed up you can use multiple processor and then click OK and then you need to open this other course again uh, just click here because sometimes it disappear 
and then you click here and then you will have this job manager this is the, the one that you just create then you need to click submit you can also monitor the progress all right while it's still running let me check the input file a little bit Let me explain to you. So in this case, we have two steps. Like the first step, step one. This is step two in the simulation. This is like a cube, I think. Uh, so in the first step, you're doing. You're basically uh, giving a, a tensile uh, strain with the displacement around 0 0.3 in the first direction. One one means the so first direction. So you're loading in the x direction. When this step finished, you go to the step two. In the step two, we uh, the total uh, the step time for the step two is 300 seconds and during this step you, we don't do anything so basically we just hold this in the same displacement like this so it's like a relaxation task so if you measure later the the load uh, the uh, the stress uh, in the sample the stress will decrease decaying following the relaxation I think so okay let's see if it if the simulation finished or not Yep, I think it's completed. See, it's completed, and then you can click the result. So here is on, and then you can play, and yeah. So yeah, why it stop? Because we have some relaxation. So I don't know. This is how you check the result. Where is it? Why you don't see the? Uh, okay. Yeah, I think that's it for this video. Hope this helped guys. Bye.